I don't know what it looks like. I haven't seen one in person. Um, they don't have pictures of it, in, like a in-person picture. So I was just real skeptical. I went all on YouTube, searched different things, trying to find it. Nope. People show you how to make the um, design, but nobody showed you what they ordered. So I was like, let me show you what I ordered. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yvonne, back with 30 Under Construction. And today, hey, excuse Junior, he has Nutella on his face. But, what um, is Hans doing to us? Nutella. What is a Nutella? <laughs> That's what you ate on your toast. You had Nutella. I, I'll eventually get to this video. So, how come I son? Let me do the video. As you saw in the title of this video, um, and you may have read it in the description below, I have a print order that um, I got made for the first time with Canva. So I think- Okay, my bestie called me. Um, yes, so this is my first, this is my second print order with Canva in the past week or two um but that's like over all these years of using canva i've been using canva ever since i started my channel um been using it for my business to make things um imitations pictures flyers you name it um anyway so i've never had anything i take that back this is not my second time printing my first time was um I got some postcards made. I got some um, handouts made for my business, like some flyer size, like paper size. Um, and I got, maybe two years ago, I got um, Christmas pictures put, I created like a Christmas card and po made it postcard style and sent it out to everybody. So, but this is my first time printing like large things large business things um that cost a little more so um first of all i'm gonna show you the poster board i got a poster made so let me show you so i hate i hate that i decided to do this video after i opened the first thing but this came in like a like a, uh, it's kind of like a triangle box, like that. Of course, the sides were like tucked in. I thought it was cute. I don't know. That's just me. And then you know, when you order things from Canva, they already ha they always have like their own logos and stuff on there. They always have like little sayings in the box, little cute stuff that it says in the box. And a thank you card with some information. No, I didn't. Three. Okay. Two. Okay. So here's the poster board. Oh, poster, not poster board. It's poster. So it's thick, but it's not like stiff thick. But it's a very good material. Um, it's shiny on one side. I almost thought that maybe it was sticky. That's how like kind of thick it is. So I had this made for my client's event. If you could see, it's pretty big. Well, bigger than me. I don't remember what size I ordered, but it came out so well. I love it. The back is just white. And I'm just gonna attach this to some poster board and put it on my um, one of my easels. For the welcome sign to the baby shop. And um, oh, I created this design myself on Canva um, based off of a picture my client sent me. Um, that way, it came out cheaper this way than it would have if I ordered a custom one for my client. Okay, so I thought that the poster board was super cute. So I was like, let me give the banner a try. So it's gonna kind of be a part of the backdrop that I'm creating. 
So I ordered this banner. It looks just like the poster board. I just um, tweaked it a little bit. Took some things off, added some things, changed the bow. So this is basically an unboxing. I've never ordered a, ba a backdrop, a banner, or anything from them like, like backdrop-wise before. So let's see how it came out. Sure I don't cut myself. And it of course it came in another like box. This is about my son's height. I don't remember what size I ordered. And oh, it was pretty heavy. Okay, so again, their packaging. It's wrapped up pretty well. Make sure there's nothing else in here, I don't know how they like to put other stuff in their boxes. Okay, nothing in there. So, let me undo this. This should be about six feet tall. Ooh, oh yeah, it's already got that. I don't know if you can see this. It's got that you know, that vine, that thick vinyl, like mesh looking. I don't know if this, that's not mesh. Well, anyway, that vinyl they print on. It's got these little clear grow mats things. So far, so good. It's not as shiny as the poster board, but I'm fine with that. So, how can I get y'all to see the whole thing? Guess you don't need to see the bottom um, because the design is mostly at the top. Oh, look at that! Yay. I'm excited. So my plan is to um, drape it over the backdrop sand pole because there's they don't have any with pockets, which is unfortunate. But I plan on draping this over the pole and in the middle and you can see this yeah so i plan on draping this over the pole and clamp clamping it like that and yeah so i tried to make this top part big enough because i'm doing balloons I'm trying to make this top part big enough to where if I roll it over and balloons are kind of on there that it's not blocking it. So, I recently canceled my Canva just temporarily. Um, like the monthly membership because I realized I could still use it. But then after I ordered this backdrop, I went back and looked at my design and I saw that it had like the little check that, um, I don't know, the little diamond shape pattern that's over the designs, so like when you haven't paid for the pro service. And I was like, oh God, I hope this doesn't come in the mail like that. But then I looked over my invoice and I saw that when you're ordering a print with them, that is kind of waived. So if you use something that's pro, it doesn't have it on there because you have purchased this with them. So, I'm super excited. I think this came out cute. I'm happy. It looks good. They did a great job. I can't wait to make some things for my own business with my business name on there. So yeah, my rating um zero out of ten ten being the best because i know i chose the one with the grommets i would say that this is pretty much a 10. this is great i mean i don't plan on using this outdoors or anything it is thick though it might make it through like a few outdoors uses but um i'm pretty happy with it especially since i didn't have a clue what it would come out like so but that's it you guys i just wanted to share that with you i noticed that i noticed that when i went so I noticed that when I went on YouTube to try to figure out, man, should I order 
um, a large print, like a poster board or a backdrop or a banner. Should I print that from Canva? Um, you know, like, I don't know what it looks like. I haven't seen one in person. Um, they don't have pictures of it, like a in-person picture. So I was just real skeptical. I went all on YouTube, searched different things, trying to find it. Nope. People show you how to make the um, design, but nobody showed you what they ordered. So I was like, let me show you what I ordered. A lot of you probably already know how to use Canva, but let me show you what I ordered. And that's how it came out. So I'm super happy. And I can't wait. My event is in a few days. And um, I did a rush order. I think I ordered this this past weekend. And it's here. It's uh, Friday. It came today. Yeah, it came today. So now that I know, this will be probably be my first go-to. Unless I can't make a good design or something. I'll order it from somebody else. But um, especially for the poster board and some other things. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helps you on your Canva and print journey or your business journey or whatever it is you're trying to do. And um, if you like this video, please hit the like button because it helps my channel grow. And that's definitely what I want to do here. Um, and then if um, you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And again, please... Please hit the subscribe button, guys. I'm so close to <laughs> being to 1,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. Um, and it's very encouraging and motivational, and it makes me want to make more videos to help you guys, um, more informative videos. So, yes, 30 under construction slash my business, which is my life. So if you guys um, have any questions, leave it below. That's it. I'm trying to make this fast. Trying not to overtalk. But I'll see you guys next time right here on 30 Under Construction. Bye, guys.